I'm Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to monogram a comfort colors or comfort wash pocket tee. Two different ways. I'm going to be using my single needle and my multi needle embroidery machine. So no matter what type of embroidery machine you have, you can make a cute monogram or embroidered pocket tea so let's go ahead and get started so as always in the description box below or to the side depending on what you're watching on you will see a description box with everything i'm using today um, machines where i get my shirts from fonts everything will be listed below so let's go ahead and get started so what we're going to use today is our comfort colors t-shirt and i just want to show you the difference so this is comfort colors right here and this is comfort wash by hanes two different manufacturers same style um, and as you can see the comfort wash by Hanes is a little bit bigger those both were size medium so just to be aware if you have to interchange for a customer because sometimes the colors go out of stock just be aware of the sizing so as you can see the pockets a little a little not where I would typically put a left chest monogram or logo so what we're gonna do we're gonna follow the pocket line so we're gonna use our Target stickers. I love these. These help me get the perfect alignment. We are gonna pin, pin, pin to make sure our fabric doesn't shift because we are gonna be embroidering through two layers of fabric because the pocket and then the shirt. And so our stabilizer of choice today, I'm gonna use some All Stitch Classic Cutaway. These are their little six by six squares. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this. I'm also gonna use some secondary stabilizer to help me hoop things. This is some tear away um, stabilizer from All Stitch as well. We are gonna be using a traditional hoop on a single needle and then I'll be using the five and a half by five and a half money hoop on my multi-needle embroidery machine. So let's go ahead and find our perfect placement for our pockets and then we will get these on the machine. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we are gonna find our placement on our pocket. So I like to just do a rough idea. Okay, I am so much better at centimeters than I am inches, especially for embroidery. Um, so this pocket looks about 11 centimeters. So I'm just gonna go five and a half and I don't try to embroider in that if it has a little overlap That's okay But I try not to have Any overlap so five and a half And then 11 wide so I'm gonna go over just a smidge All right, that's good. So a little disclaimer the pockets are not perfect. I have embroidered on some pockets that are really wonky so try your best um and then maybe if you get a really terrible pocket you can speak to the manufacturer about it but they're going to be not perfect so try your best and just make sure it stays within that field all right so let's go ahead and prep our other shirt and we will get these hooped i'm going to choose a three inch monogram that way it fits this way and it'll fit hopefully perfectly this way Okay, next is my little secret. I do not like to have stabilizer touching my skin if I don't have to. So what I like to do is I like to put the stabilizer in the pocket. I feel like sometimes I get a much better stitch because it's directly stitching onto stabilizer. Um, then you don't see it. And so I am cutting my stabilizer to be around the size of the pocket. And I'm going to slip this in and then we're going to pin it. Again, this is the All Stitch Classic Cutaway, but I've, I've also used All Stitch Poly Mesh and um, had great results with that. Let's see. Nice. We're gonna pin this pocket with the stabilizer to make sure it's nice and smooth. You are gonna have the seam of the pocket. All right, let's go ahead and cut our little pocket size stabilizer. We are also going to use um, a secondary stabilizer, a tear away on the back, just to make sure everything is nice and secure to the hoop. So um, you're gonna get a very nice stitch out. All right, let's go ahead and get these hooped and on the machine. So I, again, I'm using a five and a half by five and a half inch mighty hoop. And um, the pocket's definitely not straight, um, but there's really nothing we could do unless we sewed it back on. So we are just gonna go with it. And that's the charm of the vintage look, we'll say. 
Okay? Okay, so we did that. So we're pretty much in center. Um, so we're not gonna hit our hoop. Now we're gonna take our pins and pin our fabric down um, to the stabilizer just to keep that fabric from shifting so there's not bunching when we monogram. You also want to be mindful of how big your monogram is going to be. So we're definitely going to do the top part and maybe the edges, but being very mindful of our monogram. And we will adjust our pins after we trace to make sure nothing gets hit by the needle. And let's go ahead and hoop for our single needle. All right, so for our single needle embroidery machine, we're gonna use our alignment ruler. And I'm gonna take a piece of tearaway stabilizer and just place it. Um, I have the hoop kind of where I want it with the part that connects the machine to um, the center, what would be the center of the shirt. So we pretty much have our center. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna tighten up the hoop. I'm just gonna use my screwdriver tool. So now we're just gonna take our pins and make sure we pin pocket down to make sure it doesn't shift or bunch during embroidery. This will help our little stabilizer stay put too. All right, and again, we'll make sure it doesn't hit the pins when we're embroidering. All right, let's go ahead and get it on the machine. So what I'm gonna do, I've already got a bobbin in here. Um, we have it threaded, it looks good. I am gonna place this on the machine. How we are gonna very gingerly um, put this on the machine because we are gonna have to kind of turn it inside out, okay? See how I did that? I kind of just folded it. We're definitely stitching in the hole today. Um, so, I'm actually going to come in from the back, make sure my presser foot is up. Okay, so it's kind of tucked away. So we're gonna kind of roll up our area that we don't want to be embroidered. So it doesn't get caught in the machine. There we go. So I've chosen my design. I'm gonna hit set. And um, there it is, it's in white. Um, let's see if I can show it to you in black. It's not gonna make a difference because I have white thread already loaded on here. Okay, so I am gonna just look at my presser foot and I see I need to move it just a smidge. Okay, so I'm going to move it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and trace it out. And I've got my presser foot up, and so I'm just looking. Um, I feel like we're gonna be super close. I did shrink it down just one little size, and that can affect switch stitch quality, so we will see um, how that turns out. Um, but I'm just gonna go with it. Um, and so I'm gonna gently take off this sticker, okay? Now we are gonna pull this tail back. I'll probably clip it and put the presser foot down. I'm gonna hit okay, embroidery. And now it's green, so it's ready to go. I'm super excited. Let's see how this stitches out. I am gonna take out this one little pin right here um, just to make sure it doesn't get hit. And um, I think we're good to go. Hit okay, embroidery.
Okay, so I just finished and let me just say the quality of this stitch out is phenomenal. Find yourself a good font. I can list this exact one below. I love their monogram fonts. They're so thick and plush. Um, a good font and a good machine. I mean, this stitch is so good for a single needle entry level machine. It's so crisp. Let me lift up this presser foot so I don't ruin anything I just did. So we're gently gonna work our way out. Look at that. It did so good. I'm just gonna clean up this last little stitch. Look at that. Look how clean that is. Such a good stitch out. Again, I had the um, stabilizer in here, so we're just gonna cut that out real quick. So I'm gonna take that. We're gonna take our pins off. We're gonna take our tear away off the back. Just gently look how clean that is on the back. So good. Just gonna remove these since it's not that much. And I am gonna trim up these little, just make sure not to cut the knot part off. There's the back inside. And then there is the front. Look how crisp that is. So what I like to do is I um, like to go down and I'm just gonna trim off this top little part so it doesn't peek through, making sure not to cut the shirt. I'm just gonna trim away some of this stabilizer. So here is the final product. I mean, it looks phenomenal. Look at that, how gorgeous is this? Then you have the stabilizer like hidden away um, so it doesn't have to touch your skin. These are a closet staple in the summer. For me, it's such a fun t-shirt to wear to the pool or the beach. Okay, let's go ahead and get on the multi needle, but what do you guys think of the single needle? It did fantastic and um, it stitched great. So again, I used the PE 900. The difference is, as you saw in the stitch out, it trimmed the jump stitch and there are a few other features, but the jump stitch trim is by far worth the little bit of cost upgrade. Um, but this is a perfect beginner machine, so don't worry if you have a single needle. You can still do amazing stuff like a Comfort Colors pocket tee. All right, let's go ahead to our multi-needle machine using our Melco. Now we're gonna monogram this beautiful like slate color. We'll be using the Melco EMT 16X embroidery machine. This is the 16 needle commercial machine and you can get more information in the links below. We're using our five and a half by five and a half mighty hoop. I found my little center mark. I have some pins here. I might have to move them just to make sure. So. It doesn't get hit by the needle, but let's go ahead and load on the machine. So again, I've got my tear away as my secondary stabilizer. I've already oiled my machine. So I selected this beautiful arabesque monogram. It's super chic. It's from Alphalicious Design. So now what I'm gonna do is I have centered it on the hoop, selected by color. Now, I'm just using my laser, as you can see here, and I am trying to find the center of this sticker. Okay, let's trace it out. Now I'm just gonna remove the sticker. We're gonna go about 900 stitches a minute. All right, let's go. Okay, so it just finished. Look how gorgeous! I think the stitch out looks great. It is such a fun font. I'm gonna trim a jump stitch real quick. All right, so there it is. I'm just gonna take these pins out real quick. So both embroidery machines did fantastic. Um, so no matter what size machine you have, you can embroider a Comfort Colors pocket tee. Um, you could do a monogram, you could do some fun little pocket designs. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the lip Separate, okay, and we're gonna pull off 
that tear away stabilizer and then I'm just gonna go in like I did with the single needle one and trim off this excess stabilizer that's at the top making sure not to cut my shirt so there is that one how gorgeous I love this font and this color of this like slate blue color with this arabesque font is gorgeous so let's show the two together so here's like this Caribbean blue it out with the exact color um, I can below so here is the Caribbean blue with that fishtail monogram font and then we have our arabesque on the slate blue what do you guys think which one's your favorite do you like the more neutral um, tones or do you like those super bright colorful comfort color shirts um, there's so many possibilities you can do with this. You could do so many cute pocket designs for spring and summer, not just a monogram. So I hope this video was super helpful for you today. And as always, I will link everything I used today, including the fonts, machines, stabilizers, in the description box below. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye for now.